Okay, um, alright, so limiting factors, uh, it pretty much affects photosynthesis. Um, there are three main limiting factors. Carbon dioxide concentration, or CO2 concentration, light intensity, uh, and temperature. Uh, I've drawn all the graphs. So for uh, ROP stands for rate of photosynthesis. So as concentration increases, the rate of photosynthesis increases. It the CO2 concentration is directly affecting rate of photosynthesis. However, um, the rate of photosynthesis slows down, and it no longer becomes a limit. Or CO2 concentration no longer becomes a limiting factor. There is another factor that is affecting rate of photosynthesis. Same thing with light intensity. Um, as light intensity increases, ROP increases. Uh, eventually, ROP will slow down or plateau. Um, this is because there is another limiting factor. This could be temperature or CO2 concentration. Temperature is a little bit different. Um, so as temperature increases, ROP increases. Um, however, as the temperature exceeds the optimum temperature, um, ROP plummets rapidly. Um, I've also I've also like listed all the stuff associated with um, the light dependent stage and the light independent stage. So I can show you. Later. <clears throat> so with the as concentration or as CO two concentration increases, there is more fixation of CO two, hence more GP is going to be made, hence more GP will be converted to TP, hence more regeneration of RUBP. Um, however, the, as the CO2 is entering the leaf through the stomata, water vapor is leaving, and this can cause wilting, and potentially a stress response will be engaged, hence um, the stomata will be closed, reducing CO2 uptake, hence the rate of photosynthesis decreases. If there is low CO2 concentration, this is affecting the light independent stage. So there will be less CO2 fixation, hence less GP will be made, hence less GP will be made, hence less regeneration of RUBP. Light intensity um, here. So as there's more light intensity, there is more excitation of electrons. Um, hence there is more photophosphorylation, Hence, there is more reduced NADP and ATP reduced. There is also more GP, or more GP is reduced and phosphorylated to TP. More TP is phosphorylated to RUBP. If there is a low light intensity, GP cannot be GP cannot be changed to TP. The TP levels will decrease. The GP levels will increase, and ultimately there will be less RUBP regeneration. This, this also means there is less CO2 fixated and less GP is formed. Uh, with temperature, it's a bit different. Um, so this is affecting the light dependent stage as this is a series of biochemical steps as it is catalyzed by enzymes. So above the optimum temperature, I know there's a spelling error there. Um, above the temperature, above the optimum temperature, the reason why it plummets rapidly is because there are the enzymes denature, hence are you hence rate of photosynthesis decreases. Um, as there is high temperature, this also may reduce water the water levels in the plant via transpiration, evaporation, that kind of stuff. Um, that is it for limiting factors, I believe, and yeah.